this is Mantle. In this video, I will show you the game between Christoph van der Loo and Hessling. This extremely beautiful chess game was played in Holland in 1983. Christoph van der Loo had white pieces and he started with e4. Hessling played e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to c4, Italian opening. Knight to f6, two knight defense. Knight to g5, going for fried liver attack, attacking the pawn on f7. Black to move, how to defend? Hessling played bishop to c5, going for Trexla, counter attack. Knight takes on f7, forking the queen and the rook. Black to move and to play the obvious. And the obvious for people who play Trexla counter-attack is bishop takes on f2 check, king takes bishop, knight takes on e4 check, king to e3, king to g1 seems like a safer option. We have king to e3, Three of the black pieces are hanging, but white king is not very safe. Is he? So let's see what happens now. Black to move. Queen to h4 is the most played move, perhaps the best. In our game we have queen to e7. White to move. White has a choice. Knight takes rook. King takes knight. And perhaps some other choices. But this is very interesting. Christoph van der Loo played c3. Preventing knight to d4. Perhaps in some variations making room for the king to come to c2. What about knight takes rook. The game may continue like this. Queen to g5, king takes knight, d5, bishop takes on d5, queen to h4 check. White is better materially at the cost of the king's safety. And what else? King takes knight is possible, then d5 check doesn't look too good for white. Okay, we have c3. Did I say this is to stop the knight from coming to d4? But Hessling played knight to d4 anyway. King takes knight on e4. That is better than c takes on d4 because of e takes on d4. King takes knight on e4. Queen to h4 check. King to e3. Queen to f4 check. King to d3. Black to move d5 attacking the bishop sacrificing the pawn in order to develop light square bishop to f5 bishop takes pawn bishop to f5 check king to c4 b5 check king to c5 play with black pieces sacrificed two pieces to get white king into this unsafe position for white well, he couldn't see checkmate, but he believed that the white king will not escape alive. You are going to see the most amazing king hunt ever. Black to move. Queen to h4. Intending queen to e7, ending the game. Knight takes on e5. Queen to e7 doesn't work because now king takes knight. The pawn is no longer on e5. Black to move. Knight on d4 is hanging. So is the rook on a8. How should black continue? 
Hessling Castle at Queenside. In some variations, Black intends to sacrifice the exchange. So, Christophe van der Loo played c4 to prevent rook takes bishop. But Hessling captured bishop anyway. C takes on d5. Rook to d8. In some variations, black intends to sacrifice the rook by capturing the pawn on d5. Knight to c3 was played. Black to move. The position is very complex. And black failed to find the best move, which is queen to f6. Because after knight takes on b5, queen takes on e5. In the game we have knight to c6. This is pretty good move. Pretty good move. Looks like a winning move for black. But player with white pieces found absolutely amazing move to save the king. Well, there is more than one critical position in this game, but I would call this position the most critical. Please pause the video and try to find the best move for white. What did you find? To save the king. Christoph van der Loo played an amazing move. Queen to a4. What a stunning move. Black to move. Surely black considered pawn takes queen. In the game we have a queen to e7 check. If pawn takes a queen, Knight takes on c6, and after bishop to d3, b3, white king survived. Interesting. So, after queen to a4, queen to e7 check, king takes on b5, queen takes on e5. Better was knight takes on e5. All this is easy to see after the game. Queen takes on e5. Queen to c4. White king is somewhat safer than before. Definitely maybe. Knight to d4 check. King to a4. Bishop to d7 check. King to a5. Knight to c6 check. King to a6. Knight to b8 check. King takes pawn on a7. c6. Threatening queen to c7. Check mate. White to move. How to save the king? Can you save white king? Knight to b5. Defending c7 with a knight. Pawn is pinned. Bishop to f5. White to move. Christoph played d4. Very good move. In order to develop his dark squared bishop. Rook to d7 check. King to a8. Queen to e7. Threatening check with rook and after knight takes queen to b7 checkmate d takes on c6 taking the control of b7 square b4 intending bishop takes on c6 check winning the game 
d5 bishop takes on d5 attacking the queen and the pawn looks like it is the end can white defend please pause the video and find the best move for white what did you find Christoph sacrificed the queen to save the king rook takes queen knight to a7 check king to d8 king takes knight queen to c7 check king to a8 rook to a5 threatening queen takes knight check mate white move what would you do how to defend the knight i will show you a move that doesn't work bishop to e3 defending the knight doesn't work because of queen to c8 check mate bishop to g5 would be good if the rook wasn't there so what is the solution then apart from resigning hmm. what would you do if you had white pieces Christoph gave check, sacrificing the bishop in order to activate his two rooks. Rook takes bishop. Rook from a to d1, check. King to e8. Rook from h to e1, check. King to f8. Rook to d7, attacking the queen. Queen takes pawn on h2. Rook from e to e7. Queen takes on g2, rook to b7, intending c7, c8, promoting the pawn to something like nuclear submarine, or I don't know, this is a crazy game, maybe even queen. Rook to c5, c7, queen to g4, preventing the pawn push, rook to f7 check. King to e8. If king takes rook, then pawn is pushed. Promoted to queen, this is check. And after king moves, queen takes on g4. So after rook to f7 check, we have a king to e8. White to move, what now? How to make the progress? The rule is, if you don't know what to do, push the pawn. Which pawn? This one is the best. B4. There comes another foot soldier. Attacking the rook. Rook to C2. A4. H5. A5. H4. B5. H3. Knight to C6 h2 wow pawn is very close to promotion huh white to move white play the move and black resigned can you see the move rook takes on g7 if you found rook to e7, this is also winning. This is check. After king to f8, rook to b8 check. And after queen to c8, rook takes queen. In the game, we have rook takes on g7. Black resigned. He lost his consciousness due to thinking exhaustion. Not really. Black resigned in view of discontinuation.
Queen takes rook. Pawn is pushed and promoted to Lady Dragon. Check. Mate. What a game. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess. And bye for now.